Well, hello there to all of my Virgos. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading, Virgos. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. The energy has already been cleared. I've already prayed over your cards and asked the questions that I needed to ask from source. And here are the answers. I've asked about your spirituality, your creativity, your, your thoughts and your feelings of power or powerlessness, whatever it is for you. And also messages for your ancestors to come through. So let's go, Virgos. I'm talking to you if you have Virgo anywhere in your chart. Um, all right, here we go. Page of Pentacles here. So I do see new money coming across your path, more money. Here we have everything is fine. You know, somebody's definitely been going through a lot of attacks, but everything is fine. So it's just saying, here's the judgment card, right? So you're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses, and also the strength card. You know, just stay away from any energies that's trying to get you to react to some things. It looks like there could be a Leo that may have set, said some things to somebody or, you know, in the past or recently, because we had the strength cards attached to Leo's. The source is saying to you, you know, just stand strong. I mean, really just stand strong. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. It doesn't always feel like everything is fine. But source is saying, take the blindfolds off. Everything is fine, Virgo. Also, you want to keep in mind, too, that as more as new money is coming across your path, here we have the King of Pentacles. Source is trying to grow someone internally, like really learning how to stay away from the energies that cause you to react. And the more you balance things out and the more you stay in healthy feminine energy, believe it or not, Virgos, other people will respond for you. You don't even need to respond, you know, looking at this. And like I said, there's been, in order to stay on your throne of king, queen, uh, pentacles, source is saying, again, healthy feminine energy. There's definitely some growth where you may have responded in the past, but now you don't need to because other people will respond for you. And so you got a lot of ancestors that's moving through people around you right now that's responding on your behalf. So you don't even have to say anything. So that's any kind of energy with source of saying, stay laser focused. This is the eighth card in tarot. Stay focused on your purpose. Here we have the Dame of Pentacles, Madre Tierra. Here we have the King of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords, the Three of Wands, and also the Ace of Swords, right? So Madre Tierra, we say, you know, Mother Earth energy right here. This is fulfillment. You've already seen it all. It's like you've seen it all. You've done it all. You're coming back around for another round here on earth. And so that's a part of your past life where you would have been a person who just simply reacted to things. But again, source is saying your breakthrough is coming in. Take the blindfolds off because you got to ask yourself, what is the motive? Why is something from my past resurfacing? Why? Because people are still talking about you. They're still leaving you uncovered, unprotected, and they're, into, they're interacting with people who, you know, pretend this somebody who pretended to be a loved one or a friend or connected to you in some kind of way, like a person who took pictures and smiled in your face, but then turned around and stabbed you in the back. Source is like, stay away from those energies. Here we also have the Queen of Swords sitting comfortably on your throne, Dame of Pentacles. Source is saying, you know, get yourself together, like mentally get yourself together. Three of Wands and King of Wands. You still have a whole lot of ideas you were born to inspire. And Source is saying, again, if you can just stay away from people who are committed to believing the worst about you, no matter what, they don't care about your evolution because all that matters is them, is that they're the brightest star in the sky. And that can be anybody. That can be a colleague that you're working with. Somebody has had enough, um, enough times around with certain zodiac signs and i really hate to say this because you when you you know if you've had enough interactions with certain types of energies it makes it really bad for the whole zodiac sign because you already walk into certain things like man you know what i really don't want to believe the worst about certain people but come on like y'all all can't be like this right and so source is saying the the, the way that's going to help you to feel better is to learn that part of yourself. Like here's, um, this is attached to Saturn and this is attached to Pluto, right? And so source is saying Pluto is an outermost planet. It's the, it's the, it's a generational planet. And so source is saying, when you, first of all, learn what the ruling planets are and you recognize that like, there are some people who, don't know that they're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. Like they have been given their marching orders. They have been given an assert, a certain assignment. But if you look like you're the one that's found what your purpose was first, then again, if it's, it, I, I, you know, when I look at the cards, it's just, like I said, you, there's a lot of growth going on here. When I look at your cards here, Virgos, and 
your your ancestors are so proud of you for just keeping it balanced out and keeping some structure to your water talking about your emotions here yeah keeping some structure to your emotions here we have because it could get real dark it literally can get really 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 dark in terms of but this has been an uphill climb for somebody you know just moving on from the disappointment of just like why well, as much as i want to give some people the benefit of the doubt mm -mm. here we have the death card and judgment card this is scorpio's cause and it's one of scorpio's ruling planets it is again you, you you feel like when you're around certain people you can't trust them because they seem like they always set in a trap right they always set in some kind of trap and so source is saying just like this person is on this motorcycle just stay as far away from certain energies like that it, it really is like when you're around certain people virgos and um you keep trying to get people to benefit of the doubt and you start seeing this kind of sort of okay look at it like this okay um there's there's some signs their symbol are animals right and so when you study the characteristics of animals believe it or not of their whatever they're they're planted i mean their their symbol is then you'll start to understand more you have a greater understanding as to why some signs are the way that they are no matter what you're looking at them in human form and not to say that all like this is for cancer cancer is ruled by the moon and the symbol is a crab right so crabs move like um say leo and cancer are the only signs that are not ruled by planets when we look at these right here they're the only signs that's not ruled by planets but sources say it'll give you a greater understanding as to um why source is actually rewarding you for retreating whenever you're in certain spaces let's like okay, it's better for me to just go ahead and retreat i don't feel safe around certain energies it's like a crab and a lion if you can look at like and so the the, the lion's like sniffing a crab flipping the shell over you know waiting for the crab to stick his head out so it can bite it or crunch the back you know just like you know so source is saying to you when you're in spaces where you feel like you feel this is the i feel sign you don't feel you don't feel empowered in certain spaces because you feel like some energies if the if the light is not always on them even though everybody has a sun sign that sun and your planets align your your planets revolve around that sun your inner and outer planet these are the outer planets that are align around that and so source is saying there's a lot of growth in you for and this is why more money is coming across your path because you're saying as much as i don't like drama and i'm gonna give you the questions for the moon and your sign in just a second because the moon moved from cancer to leo um, and then it moved into virgo right your ruling planet virgo mercury is pre-shadow retrograde so source is giving you a pretest right so that you can recognize and do the reading and do more studying up on zodiac signs and planetary alignments and the symbols and all of those things because that's going to make somebody some more money it's going to make you more money to just know exactly what you're dealing with ahead of time and actually show you why like what what is going on and um here we have the the seven of wands here so i see you being able to defend your decision to move on from certain energies without even coming across as defensive and i see a soulmate coming across your path if you don't already have one so here we have three and seven or ten ten is the the number for instant manifestation and so source is saying you know what i have clarity of thought in other words okay so yeah i have clarity of thought i'm motivated um i'm staying laser focused i can i can spiritually um tap into when i feel some kind of way around certain types of people and i don't need to sit there and keep going along with the flow until i get blowtorched no i need to get when i when i see when i see people interact with other people i don't need to make sure wait until i'm a victim of something i need to just get as far away from it as possible here we also have the two of cups and so this is where source is saying i'm sending soulmate energy across your path I, as highly as i speak of all zodiac signs um that i'm looking at you got to it really is that you got to tap into that virgo you really got to tap into that part of yourself where you're picking up energy and saying okay as many times as i've been around the world you know the sun and the moon we know that the moon illuminates this i mean the sun illuminates the moon 
as long as I've been going around in circles with certain types of energies, I know, you know what, to steer clear of it. I don't have to say in a negative sense if somebody would like, well, how come you don't want to work with certain people? Or how come you don't want to, you know, so it's like, yeah, I, I, sometimes you just feel like I just had my fill with certain energies. I, I've just had my fill. I got I always feel like I got to, you know, like I got to respond to the sarcasm, the, 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 harsh words, the judgment, the constant comparison. It's just draining after a while. It's just absolutely just draining, you know, after a while. So whoever it is, I don't know who had a, a run in with a cancer or a Leo, but somebody is just like, okay, I just feel like I need to stay away from certain energies altogether. And you could have cancer and Leo in your birth chart, but source is saying somebody feels like they just need to stay away from certain people altogether. Just like, okay, when I, when every time I think about interacting with certain energies, the you know, the warming up to people at first and then going in the strike when you find out somebody's, you know, weaknesses, like what you like, you dealing with a wild animal. So source is saying it's best for you to just stay away from it. And then you're traveling in packs. I got to get everybody on my side to talk negatively about a person. I don't even want to be associated. That's what you're saying. I don't even want to be associated with it. So source is saying the only person that can save you from that situation really is you. Because you have enough wisdom and knowledge at this point. This is the King of Cups. We also have the Nine of Cups. Source is saying put together your list of wish fulfillment. So when you're thinking about being around, you know, any of the signs that you're seeing, Scorpio, um, uh, it's cause somebody at this, I'm looking at the car. Somebody feels like when they deal with Leo's, so we're crystal clear that it's always a setup. It's always a bait and switch. That's what somebody is saying here, looking at the cards here. And somebody says, I've been around the world. This is about fulfillment. I feel like I fulfilled my time with certain types of energy because this is, a, this is car, this car right here is attached to uh, Saturn, right? Um, and the world card, I've been around the world with certain types of energies. I already know what I'm dealing with. And guess what? You are well within your right to feel however you feel. So here we have the 10 of, um, the 10 of cups and also the four of cups. So source is saying to you, listen, I'm sending your group of people to you. Um, you know, you don't need to pour out any more emotion concerning certain types of people here. We also, like I said, the four of cups right here, you don't need to sit around and lament over anything any longer. You just need to physically say, okay, I can defend my decision to stay away from certain people. Cause what's happening is when I look at the cars here, sources already saying something is over. Something is already over. You've all, you're already being rewarded, you know, for, for something. And like I said, rich, rich, richy, rich, right? So you're already being rewarded. But if you feel like when you're around people, it's always a bait and switch and other people can't see it. You, if you're waiting for somebody else to tell you, then you're going to be waiting for a long time because source wants you to make some kind of a move. Because if you've seen it enough, I mean, how many chances, well, how many chance, I mean, how many times do you need to be struck by lightning before you get the message? You know what I'm saying? So that's what source is trying to tell somebody say, whoever it is, you feel like I got to stay strong around certain types of energies. And really when I look at, let me see. Yeah. You definitely have a loved one on the other side that's saying, you know, if you gotta, if you gotta control your inner animal around certain people and you feel like you gotta, you gonna say or do something, it's just best to just stay away for real. It's just best to stay away. Best to stay. And here we have the three of wands right here. Let's me know. Take a leap of faith into your own future. Take a leap of faith into your own future. But the more and more I see somebody reading books and learning about, you know, astrology, numerology, you know, the symbol, you know, really, really learning birth chart. And I do have birth chart series on the second channel. It's called the Knowledge Channel. The link is below. There's a whole free series, a lot of information over there. Go check it out. Go check it out. Um, here we also have the High Priestess, the Three of Pentacles, the Empress card. Here we have the Temperance card, the Four of Wands, and also the Page of Swords. So your anxiety about something will be going away very, very soon. So something that a lot of, that's what I, everything is fine came out first. So it's just saying you have a guardian angel. Somebody who died is looking over you. They are watching you. They're saying, look, everything is fine. I know you're, you're super sensitive to everything right now, but you're dealing with some energies who feel like they're just, they're green with envy. They have that spirit. They like disrupting people's peace. You, you're dealing with something, a different type of, different type of, here we have the high priestess energy right here, which again, lets me know somebody feels things deeply. You have downloads and dreams. You may even hear something very loud when you first wake up in the morning, for real. Like you could hear their thoughts. Your spirit has already traveled out to wherever they are, picked up messages and brought it back to you. So you feel like, I feel like somebody's going to be celebrating something soon. It could be two things, two major things. It could be a physical move somewhere. 
you know, because again, or, and it could just be, like I said, that's not my duty and responsibility anymore. I'm moving on from something because everything is lining up perfectly for you. So like I said before, it was already predestined for you to be very, very wealthy. So source wants you to really think about how you are, how you are, um, uh, you know, how you are, um, investing your time. That's what it really boils down to. How are you investing your time? Are you investing your time by, um, you know, taking some time to learn some things during this time to get yourself prepared for something no longer being your responsibility because you're entering into a season of abundance and prosperity and sources are already saying you're already being rewarded. Judgment is in your favor. Here we have 19. I'm a pioneer. So it's a lot of things that's happening. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you, uh, Virgos. You are extremely capable in life and in work and you aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life that you desire. That's it. 19. One and nine is 10. 10 is the number for instant manifestation. What are you instantly manifesting? What are you saying out of your mouth, right? Um, even though we had a full moon in um, uh, uh, Gemini, the moon is about to start moving. When you watch this, it'll be moving from Leo into Virgo. So here we have affirmations for confidence. I matter, period. I am kind. I act in spite of fear. I keep the promises I make to myself. My, my voice matters. Someone needs to hear it. My tribe wants to see me succeed. I allow doubt to float away with ease. That's right. So maybe, maybe you know, saying some um, affirmations to yourself is really, really going to help you. But here are the questions for the moon and Virgo. First question is, are you ready to define what you no longer need or want with a practical and an objective eye? Second question is, can you define what's yours to fix and what's not in your life? Third question is, do you feel any fear around being fully self-sufficient and independent? Fourth question is, how could you learn more from nature? And then last but not least is, could you share your free time and your energy in a valuable and charitable way? Those are things that you should, you can be thinking about right now as you are moving towards the King of Pentacles. And again, I know you all are really not a money hungry zodiac sign. So I know this wealth is a massive a wealth. This massive wealth here is really about um, how can you help change other people's lives in a very creative way? Because there's a lot of water here, a lot of air here. Obviously, Virgos are extremely intelligent. And it's really just like how how many hours of a day or minutes in a day or moments are you spending on you know, like, you know, kind of sort of not wanting to get out of bed and just like, okay, I'm, I'm hanging on to faith. I feel strong, but messages are coming through so strong right now. I can't, I can barely focus and can barely think. So it's just saying, replace all those negative energies with something positive. All those negative thoughts are positive. Look in that mirror, replace those negative thoughts. Tell yourself what you see yourself on the other side. See yourself celebrating. I see myself celebrating in front of my new home. I see myself celebrating outside my new job. I see myself that's no longer my response, my duty and responsibility anymore. I've already detached. I've done cord cutting ceremonies away from certain people, whether it's your work and at home or whatever it is, two situations, no longer your responsibilities. Because I feel like somebody is relocating and I feel like somebody is saying not only is that old place that I used to live in, whatever the old address is, that's a part of my past life, that city, I'm moving away from that and Whatever it is that you're moving on from, that job, I'm graduating from school, something is no longer my responsibility, the heaviness of it. And I'm moving into a new phase in my life. So congratulations to you all, Virgos. You deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. So that's what I have for you. I will see you all on, uh, um, on uh, Motivational Monday. Bye.